Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will use the method POST to send data to the server. In home.html, inside products for each loop, we will add button to shirts. Let's call it show. When the user click on show, that means he is interested by a shirt. The button show send the ID of the shirt to server. Buttons aren't in the middle. We will add text online center to the class shirt. We can see on dev tool the code of the button. Now we will add an event on click to buttons. We will call the function send data. We will add argument to function, the ID of the shirt. We can see that each button has an ID of a shirt. We will change the admin interface. We will show fields instead of a shirt object. In admin.py, we will create a new class shirt admin. It inherited from admin.modeladmin. List display contain the fields that we want to show. We want to show brand, price, and visited. Finally, we will add the class shirt admin. Now it looks better. In home.html, we will create a function send data. It took as parameter the shirt ID before writing Ajax code. Check that there isn't a bug. Everything is OK. Now we can use XML HTTP request to send data to the server. I will copy and paste the first four lines of the script of the method get. We will replace get by post and we will change the name of the URL. To send data to Django server, we must set request header. You can find parameter and the value of set header in Django documentation. Finally, we will use the method send. For post method, we give it an argument. The type of data is JSON. So we will use the method json.stringify to convert JavaScript object to JSON. We need to import CSRF exempt to use Ajax. We will add the decorator CSRF before the view home. We will use print request is Ajax to check if Ajax works. When I click the button show, it must print the value true on terminal. We get true, so the method post works. We will use the condition if request dot is Ajax to get data. The data is stored in request.body. I will use plain to show it to you. When I click show, I send the ID of a shirt to the server. We can see it on terminal. To get the value of the ID, we will import JSON. We will use the method json.loads to convert request.body to a dictionary.
short id equal data sh id i will print short id so we can see it on terminal I will use short ID to get uh, the short from database. I want to update the value of visited every time a user is interested by a short. I will print the value of visited, it should be zero. The new value of visited is the current value plus one. Oh, short dot visited equal the new value of visited. It didn't update the value of visited. I forgot to save the object short. Now we can see that the value of visited is changed. I click it two times, the new value is 3. This is a small example to show you how to send data to the server without reloading the page. This is the end of this video. If you have a question, comment.